All right, hello folks. Uh, welcome to tonight's stream. We're, uh, we're going to, I'm still not sure how to do like the intros. I guess you just jump straight in, right? Um, I'll do whatever I'm gonna do. Uh, so tonight's stream, for the start of it, what I'm gonna do is I wanna make a local web page to display and preview all my GIFs. Um, I've got a bunch of them. And when I'm trying to throw a GIF in Twitter or Discord or whatever, uh, I'm usually just hitting the down arrow until I find one. Sometimes I kind of know what I'm thinking about, but I've, I'm much more visual. And I can do, so, hopefully this doesn't show anything crazy. Uh, so I've got an app photo mechanic, which is spawning somewhere right now. There it is. Um, Let me find my gifts here. So here's my gifts. So I can kind of use this for a preview, but of course they're not moving and sometimes they don't render. So like be seeing you here doesn't render and Avengers Assemble doesn't render. So here's Avengers Assemble, right? It's working. No idea why it's not rendering here. And of course they're not moving, but I don't totally need them to move. Um, and actually, I guess the question is, so I want to see, can I, I'm actually just curious now. So if I'm on Twitter, and I'm going to write a tweet, can I just drag and drop one there? No, okay, whoops, no, that did not work. Oh yeah, that, well, no, 52, okay, that's bad, oh crap. I don't know what that did. So what I'm hoping I can do is a couple things. One, I just want to be able to preview the GIFs. Two, what I'm really hoping I can do is have basically a web page that's on my local on my local machine. So I, this 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 is my launch pad. This is my little local website that runs on mail. Um, MAMP. Uh, which you don't know MAMP, it's um, all these services rolled into one and easily installed for you and let you just fire stuff up. Uh, so, you know, I'm using Apache and MySQL. You could have used Nginx and Postgres. Well, actually Postgres isn't on here. Huh. Uh, you can throw languages in there. So mine's actually running uh, PHP right now. Um, so I can do some dynamic stuff. I'm not actually doing anything dynamic at all, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything dynamic at all, on this side of the truth. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is some JavaScript stuff. Uh, but what I'm hoping I can do is actually use PHP, use the dynamic aspect of it, and um, look at a directory tree that has my GIFs in it. Uh, so here's kind of the here's kind of the goal. I want to be able to look at this directory tree. I want to be able to find all the GIFs in it. And I'm going to need to resize them for storage. Cause like some of these, like, so I've been making my own and like, what was I doing last night? Um, whatever, Teen Titans. Um, that's a meg, two meg. So, wow, these are small. Oh, there's one, 11 meg. I don't need all 11 megs to load on the page. So I, I want to resize them down. How big is that? Let's say, yeah, 1900 by 1080. So that's a 1080 GIF. Don't need to be that big. I also don't have a good idea about how big I want to make GIFs in general. The thing I'm doing now, just to go on a tangent for a second, is Discord, um, which I use for some chatting stuff, <clears throat> has a max file size of eight meg. So I'm making all my gifts less than eight meg. I figure that's a good target. Um, they're probably still huger than most of them need to be, but I want to, I'll need to, or I want to go ahead and actually resize them down. So again, that's giant. Um, and so I want to, I want to process this whole tree too, and look for just, just the gifts and I want to display them. And what I'm hoping will happen is that I can then drag and drop them like onto Twitter or whatever. So like, 
if I'm doing something on Twitter, because like right now, if I drag, you know, whatever, if I've got Batman confused here, oh, you can't see that. If we've got Batman confused here, you see that? Yeah. And I just drag it and drop it, that goes in and loads. And then you don't have to like click and do an upload and find it. So I'm hoping that that'll work um, with, uh, with the web page. In fact, that's the first thing I'm going to find out right now um, is this card. Uh, oh, and actually, I was going to make just a flat file, but I can just do it on the um, on the site itself. So I've got a little command that I use, STL, which sends my launch pad to the, the directory tree for my launch pad to Sublime Text. Um, Right now, I'm just going to put this at the root. Uh, the root's getting a little cluttered. Do I want to... Actually, no. I'm going to make a new directory called GIFs. And then I'm going to put an index.php in there. This is GIFs. Save that index.php. Um, and then on the home page, uh, main content, hot links, alpha So this stuff isn't, I, mean, I haven't really spent time organizing this yet. So I'm just kind of, I keep adding things to the top. So slash GIFs slash index.php. Give me a file. Yes. 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 I don't know what the proper capitalization is. We're gonna do that for now. Um, so now, oops. So now here's GIFs. I'm clicking to it. Oh, not found. Okay. First step first. Oh, the mess. Let's try this. Back up. Reload. Try again. There we go. This is GIFs. Cool. Um, so again, I, I don't use frameworks for this site yet. I'm just kind of hacking through it a little bit. Like I'm not, I just haven't done a framework on it. I may at some point, but I kind of like exercising a little bit, the parts of my brain to actually get down and, and see what's going on and actually doing it. Um, the, the one thing that I will do though, uh, so I've got my little, uh, Grimoire developer notebook here, um, HTML5. The one thing I don't want to have to mess with though is um, making, doing the CSS and making the page. So this is a template. Oh wow, yeah, I haven't modified this since 2014. So this may be completely out of date, but in 2014, um, I just wrote this HTML5 template for a single column, um, page that looks something like this. Wait, something screwed. What's going on? Why is that so? Oh, cause I want to follow my Yeah, it's hard coded to 980 with main content at 950. So let's do that. At eight, so I'm on a twenty-something inch monitor, but I'm cropped down into just a part. So hopefully, it makes the text easier for y'all to see. Um, let's see what that does. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, that yeah, that did it. But let's go. That's fine. Yeah, so we can see the full width. That's cool. Uh, I'm sure there are better ways to do all this stuff. Um, like this should be max width, probably with max width and padding. I'm not going to mess with that right now. This is this is fine. CSS is not the not the thing that I'm doing. That would be just kind of yak shaving for now. Um, Gifts, and then we're gonna set the title. Better content, yeah. Um, 
I'll just put a link back to Launchpad and then GIFs. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to capitalize that. Uh, I still would like to find software, and I, I know it's out there, I know I can do it, on because it works on my Hugo site, where when you save a file, it sends something to the browser and has it refresh automatically. Um, I need to figure out how to do that from here. I, there was an app that I used to use called Launch something, but it uh, it's no longer maintained, and I'm wary of using it. Uh, so anyways, main content, we're here. So now, Easiest way to test this, uh, I promise I'm gonna buy Sublime Text before long. I just haven't done it yet. Once again, I own two, I just haven't bought three yet and I've only recently moved to three. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do Luke saluting. Um, and I'm just gonna drop this directly in The gifts directory for now. I'm, this is so I'm just doing the simplest possible thing I can do to to get this working. I, I'm not going to try and jump too far forward. So this is just um, I think in television they call it like a tone test. Like I just want to make sure that this stuff is actually going. So image source, and I should add like alt salute. I'm going to add an alt because it's a good habit to be in. Um, so I'm in the same directory. I'm gonna do that. So there's our image. And what happens? There we go. So now the thing that we can test, that's I'm gonna have a page with a whole bunch of those. And by the way, if this this is sounding familiar, I mean this is exactly right what GIF Giffy does and the other ones. Um, you know, here, here's a whole bunch of your images. Like I'm making another one of these. Hey, the September thing came up because there's wind and fire today. Remember the 21st of September. Um, I don't actually remember what happens on the 21st of September. Um, that's cool. So now what I can test actually, and I hope this works, is if I go to Twitter, and we compose a new tweet, this setup where hopefully we can all see it. Please work. Oh, I saw it go. Wait, what did it say? Please choose something. Please choose either one GIF or up to four. Oh, come on. Crap. Um, That's kind of a bummer. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna try a different browser. So we're Launchpad. Here's our GIFs. What if we do this? Nope. Crap, okay, see that's, oh wait. It gave me the plus sign over there. Oh, that just opens it that way. Okay, so that didn't work, but what if... Uh, I can close that map thing. Um, so what if we just make it a local file? And that'll, so that way it'll have a file path, local test.html. And if we open that, so that's still working. This is, and so now I've got a file path here. Uh, where, there's Twitter. Crap, still didn't work. Um, 
I wonder if it goes to Discord. No. Crap! Aw, oh, man! Okay, um, that's alright. So we've, we've just discovered that that's not going to work the way we want it to. But what we might be able to do... Um, hmm. We're going to try something different then. Uh, so what if instead of just being... Because what I want to be able to do, like the, the end goal here is... Um, these are probably a little loud. I gotta go back and listen to all this stuff and see what it should be. Um, so the end goal here is I want to have a, a display of my gifts that I can get through really easily. This is like the first iteration. Like, I mean, who knows where this will end up? But like, initial goal, page of gifts that I can see and see them moving or doing whatever. And I want to be able to click and drag. I want to be able to scan real quickly, find one that I want click and drag it over to the thing that I want. The two things that I want to be able to take it to are um, Discord and Twitter. Uh, but so what I might be able to do is, so, okay, and that's not working, right? Like, um, actually, let's see. Drag GIF to Twitter from web page. Uh, yeah, you gotta upload. Like, I don't, I don't expect to find anything here. It's how to create them. Yeah, this is super. How to save an image from Twitter? Yeah. This is a very niche thing trying to go the way that I'm going. Um, Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so now the so the next thing I'm thinking is what I could do is have potentially have it where I click on it in the web browser, have it make a copy, for example, to my desktop or to some folder, some known folder, and then open that folder, um, and see if that. And then, and then, so then I've got just that GIF sitting there. Like it could clear everything else out, everything else out. And so it would basically just present me that GIF on the file system. Because if I've got it, um, what just happened? There we go. You know, because if I've got it on the file system, if I can, if, if I can pop it open to right here and have this be the only thing in there, then I can just drag it and drop it, and we're good. Um, so I wonder if we can make that happen. Well, so let's figure out how to make that happen. I guess it's a trick. Um, all right, so I've got, so again, I don't need to mess with getting all the gifts to show up yet. I need to get the, I need to get the base functionality in place for first, the, the, you know, the happy bath, I guess. Um, so uh, I'm going to get rid of that one because that didn't work. So just kind of try and keep it a little clean here. Uh, I'll try that. Uh, gifts HTML. I, this is new. I haven't seen this icon for PHP. That's a new icon for me. Um, I actually don't know what that is going to. Uh, it's going to Xcode apparently now. Okay. Xcode took over PHP somehow. Whatever. Oh, we actually know what I want to do. Let me just test and make sure. So let me try this in Chrome and just make sure it doesn't work there either. Well, actually, I guess I should try Firefox too. So here's Chrome, whoa, what happened? Here's Chrome from the local file system. Still nothing. Uh, let's try Firefox just for to make sure, because if I don't have to do the work of building all that other stuff, then I won't. 
So there's Firefox. Oh, that was gonna do it. It's all the green plus. Okay, no. So yeah, so you just can't jump from, from one, one web page to another to drop in. Um, which I guess makes sense, because realistically what's going on here is the browser is looking for the file on your file system. Um, yeah, because if you go, like if I went to, you know, upload a photo, it's coming into these and pulling it up from the file system. Yeah, so that makes sense. Like it, now this image is sitting somewhere on my file system as a, as a saved file and the cache of uh, whatever, but like, it makes sense to me that they don't try and like expose that file path out in a way that you could copy over. Um, not really, but I guess you could just drag it, but you can drag it and drop it up there. Maybe, I don't know where that went. But yeah, so if you drag, I can drag it and drop it on the desktop and that make that puts it as a file on the desktop. Um, yeah, so worst case, like I, I guess I could just do two steps, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna give up yet. So, all right, so here's the idea. Let me clean up some stuff here so I don't go super crazy. Um, all right, so let's get back to our GIFs page. Is this our GIFs page? Nope. Is this our GIFs page? Yep. Um, And let's just do this. href equals launch gif.php. I was messing around a little while ago with these over here, which basically make um, the songs I go. So bear with me too on the music. Um, I've got a whole bunch of new songs that are licensed to play across stream. Uh, and I just threw them all in a giant playlist, but that there's a bunch of them there that I don't like yet, or that I, I haven't heard yet. H. And so I'm just taking them out as I hear ones that I don't like, and I don't like this one. So i got to find it real quick. There it is. And now I'm super focused on the music, but we'll see what happens. Um, so with these Spotify ones, what I'm doing is making a call out to um, basically to the command line, to, to the system, to execute a script. Uh, right, because this, this is all on my local machine. So it's a local web server sitting on my local machine. Um, and I'm not exposing the web server anywhere, so I'm not worried about like people getting in and doing stuff with it. Um, but like, I think it's gonna play. But I don't have Spotify going. Does that start Spotify? It does. So that's Spotify going in the background that I'm controlling from my web browser, right? Um, I've got hotkeys that I can do that with too, that's fine. But the other thing I really like about this is I can set up playlists so I can kick into my playlist and just keep things going um, and then move to there. I want to mess around with that a little bit more. Um, but I've got a mechanism there that lets me click on something in my web page to then fire over to the actual system and have the system do something. Uh, I was trying to do some stuff with it. I couldn't get it to do everything. I don't remember what the, what the trick was, but what I'm thinking we can do is a similar thing here. So we're going to make launch gif.php, which is just going to be PHP. How do you do PHP again? Is that it? Nope. I mean, how about that? Is that PHP? Launch gif.php. P. Yeah, okay, that's PHP. Um, I don't do that much PHP, folks, so it's going to look ugly. If we click on this now, here, okay, we got there. So now we're in that file. So now we can click on a thing and get to our new thing. 
Um, and so now the thing to try, I'm just gonna grab this code for a minute. Right, so it's just one big string. It's not like all chopped up, right? Okay, yeah, so. Nope. Not right now, anyways. I may keep that for some other time. Um. So let's just try open dot. See what happens. So if if I'm on the command line and I do open open dot, it just opens the folder that I'm in in the finder. So let's see what happens if we pass that to the web server. It opens, it opens that folder. Awesome, okay. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now, where do I wanna put, so now the biggest trick that I need to figure out is where I wanna put the file that I wanna send. Um, I think I'm gonna throw it to the desktop. So let's see, let's see if we can open the desktop to start with, which I'm users. So that the way to get to the desktop, right? So I'm in my terminal, I'm gonna CD into the desktop and then I can do PWD, which shows me the path. And I've built one called PWC that copies the path for me. Um, so let's see if we can just open the desktop folder. Ooh, didn't work. Why didn't it work? Uh, that's weird. Woodshed, launchpad, HTML prod. Yes. So that's what we're in. I just want to see now if I copy this and give this a full path. That doesn't open either. But if I go back to open dot, we all saw it working, right? That wasn't just me hallucinating. Now it's not working. Why isn't it working? Oh, is it not working? It's already open. Aha! Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. I see what's going on. Possibly. I have a bunch of windows. 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 Yep. It's open in the middle. Okay. Uh, so, okay, but let's see if we can make the, so let's see if we can make the desktop open. So I'm going to go capture my desktop again. Desktop PWD shows me it, PWC copies it. You don't have to do both commands. I'm just doing that to show them off or show them off, show them. So if I go here, save that. If I get this out of the way and run here, you see that, right? Okay, it does open the desktop. Okay, cool. So we can open the desktop. Um, but that's not gonna do me a whole lot of good if it doesn't bring it forward. I need it to come forward. Um, I mean, I could always go get it, but like the whole trick with this is I wanna be able to go click and then click and drag, right? The, the minimum number of steps. So the other thing that I was doing the other day, the Spotify stuff, is all I'm not gonna kill that one yet, but just not digging it. I don't know about this. I gotta I'm just gonna let this one go. Um No I'm not. That's a little much.
a little groovy. Um, I really hope you can actually hear this. So the, the Spotify ones are nothing but, so OSA script is um, Apple script. So what I should be able to do, let's, get, let's go look up some Apple script. Actually, do I have any Apple script in my notebook? Apple script, getting menu items, GUI scripting, Yeah, whatever. Um, Apple scripts, open finder. So I, I know, I think I just tell it, open folder and finder. I love Stack Overflow. I think I can just tell it to go to the finder and then activate it and that fires it forward. Um, rather than just highlighting the, folder in Apple script. We're fine for me, but I'm going wrong. Yeah. You don't even do wait what? Tell application finder to open. If front finder window exists, then set target. Finder window. Is that Darth Vader? Ah, funny. Um, I just want to look at a couple more here, just kind of. Yeah, tell application finder activate Intel. So I don't know, actually let's, we may be able to put these two things together and just go through it that way. So this is the Spotify one that does the OSA script, which is the Apple script. Here's my launch GIF. So I've, I've got it opening the desktop. And now if I tell application finder activate, So I'm just, so like, I, I know I'm opening the desktop folder, which is here. I'm gonna close that. Where did our window go? Is that this? Yeah, so that's this. Okay, yeah, it still didn't bring it forward. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, it there. Well, actually, what happens if we just run that? Nada. Um, let me close that. Okay, I don't think I have any finder windows open. Oops. Yeah, I don't have any finder windows open. So if we, it doesn't do anything at all. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna leave that there, but comment it out for now. Um, let's come back here. Let's bring this in so we can see it. Open, activate, open disk. I wanna, ooh. So if the count of finder windows is not zero, then set URL target a front window, okay. Get count or folder selected, set URL. If not, set my URL. It's not popping 
Ah, set frontmost to true. Look at this. Tell application system events. So I'm actually going to, so this is, this is command line stuff. So I'm actually going to try this command here in my, um, I was trying to clear it, just to make it easier to see. There you go. Uh, just make sure that actually looks like it's, yeah, so it's got, um, I don't need to escape the quotes because I'm not in there. So that might freak it out. So let's see what this does. Right, man. Except it end of line, but found set. What does that do? I turn once to access control finder. Line control will provide access. Oh, sorry, I can read that down here. I don't do that with anything that's not on your computer that you don't own, but set front mist. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Oh, it did do it. So check this out. So right now, uh, the finder is the front mist. When I click on iTerm, my terminal, the finder goes back. But, boom, it comes forward. So I think that's what we need to do. And I think I can, apparently, I don't know why it's returning true there. Can I just do set frontmost? Nope. I don't know how to get it. Okay, we'll work on that in a second. But we've got, we've made progress. Uh, windows everywhere, everywhere. So I'm going to do this same thing here. Oh, wait. Did I try this yet? Tell you set front must do true. Did I try that yet? Crap. Why did that work? What did I do different? So here's the script that works. E X E C E X E C. Put that in quotes. We need to escape that. And that. Oh, two set front mostly true. Okay, that's that's where it was different. Okay. Now let's see what this does. Crap. And it freaked out. Um didn't actually return anything. Um is there a console? Anything happen? No. Sources, nothing. Um, why didn't it do, why didn't it at least open, maybe it did, we just didn't see it. Yeah, it's open. Okay, so it's open in the desktop down here. I think you can see that. Yeah. But why didn't it? Like that. That works. Oh, I had to, hmm. I wonder if there's something where it won't, cause I, 
when I was doing it from iTerm, right, I had to, I had to give it permission. I wonder if there's something in that permission settings that I haven't, that I either didn't allow before. Like if I click don't allow, it's just weird that it chokes it and it doesn't do anything. What if we echo that? Does that do anything? Oh wait, hang on. Do I have a, you need a semicolon back there, don't you? Oh, there you go. Once access control of Finder, allowing control to provide access to documents and data in Finder and perform actions with that. See, that's, that's, I mean, that's dangerous is what that is. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to let that happen. Um, it's my machine, it's my web server, it's all that stuff, but like that level of access coming in from a from a web browser into, like I'm okay with it on the terminal. The terminal I can launch stuff, that's fine. Um, but doing it from there is just not something, not something that my web, you know, my, my web sense, my spidey sense is going off on that. Um, that's okay though. Uh, there's some other ways to do this. So, ooh. I just spilled water a lot. Um, so another way that we can do this is, I'm sure there's a way to do it in Windows too, um, but in Mac, you can set a, um, you can set up something to watch a folder and when something happens inside that folder, you can make something else happen. Um, and so this is, this is something that's going to take me a minute because I need to go relook at this stuff and I need to look at this over here. Um, uh, like I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have, so I've, I've got some work stuff that's in my little notebook. Um, and I'm not sure. So the, the thing that we're going to look at, uh Oh, except there's none of in there. Um, is launch D it? I think launch D is it right? Uh, why am I thinking of, it's something else that I'm looking for? I don't think it's launch D. Um, that's the replacement for init D, I think. Yeah, which replaces mock in, in, init D, init process used in the previous version of OS X. Now I gotta remember what those things are called. Um, I really thought it was launch D, so give me a second. Again, I've got some work stuff on here that I I don't think you would see, but I need to dig around a little bit and it wouldn't super matter if you saw it. You're not gonna be able to tell anything from it, but it's just separation of church and state. Um, So bear with me is the long and short of that. Yeah, launch agents. Yeah, so inside, let me look 
at this for one second, just make sure everything's cool. Um, Huh, there's stuff in here I don't even have a software anymore. It just never got uninstalled. Yeah. Um. What's the best way to do it? So in, inside, I'm not gonna show the finder just cause there, it has a name, some names and some stuff in there, but it's, which would be fine. It would be fine, but anyway, I'll just show you where this directory is. So inside, um, inside the main user directory, there's a library directory and then this launch agents directory. You can put scripts in there that do stuff. Um, Yeah, it is launch demons. Okay. It is launch D. Okay. Your page exploded. Yeah, so here's it is launch D. Okay, yeah, launch agents. Um why don't I have launch D stuff? I must have archived that. Hang on. So this is funny. So another thing that I'm considering doing, and I d I'm not going to do it right now. I need to think about it a little bit more. But is it broke? Um, I was on this woman's site earlier, uh, Shelby Spees, um, and was checking out her blog, which is cool. Like I'm doing some DNS stuff, so I ran on that too. Um, but I was just kicking around and saw this and she's got this notes.shelbyspees.com um, which there we go there's some more of it um, it's a it's the, it's based off this git books um, or not based off of it is a git book thing or whatever um, and you can do personal ones you get like 10 of them for free or whatever but it's a really interesting documentation thing um, and so Part of me is considering what she's talking about here, which is writing notes, basically like making notes and publishing them. Um, and so I'm kind of thinking about doing that with some of this stuff, but like it still feels a little weird for that not to be on my website. So um, You know what? Okay, so I'm gonna see. I go back and forth on this stuff. Like, I want it to be on my home, and like, you can obviously she's doing notes. She's got it on her domain, and I'm sure you can export this. It's on her domain, though. I like it on her domain. I didn't thought about that. Where'd mine go? Um, where is? Doesn't have a link to just the one that I've got open. Uh, get started, does that take me there? There we go. Um, hey, the quick John brown fox with a lady dog, right? Conditional on match. So I put in just a little piece of Python code here to test it. And I like, I really like the way that this stuff comes up. And like, this could be a really good Thing, it's just it freaks me out that it's not on my site but I think I'm gonna experiment with it um,
because I can throw it, I can throw it to the same thing that she's doing and do it like notes.alanwsmith.com. Even though it's not on dub-dub-dub. Because um, the other thing I was thinking is I could take these notes. And one of the things she talks about is uh, why not host my own notes? You know, she's been trying to do, she was wrangling with Hugo, which is what I use for my website. For years of trying to figure out, um, and that, yeah, I'm trying out get, get book after months of wrangling with Hugo and years of trying every other note taking app out there. Um, part of me still wants to mess with Hugo, even though there's no way I'm going to be able to do all this stuff. But it's still in the notes. But it's on the notes. Okay, I'm just gonna whatever. We'll just do it. Um, brain thinky. So new group, live stream. Draft start page description. Um, September 21st, 2020. Notes from the, ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. Um, Cause one thing I, I could do here is just put in code snippets. Um, and then have those be helpful. The other thing that I'm not as big a fan of is I keep everything in that notebook that I've got. And so now I'm gonna have notes in two different places and I'm gonna have to put them in two different places. Ah, see, that's the, that's the bigger thing for me. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna do this right now. I, like there's just, I've got so much legacy with with my app, with NV Alt, um, that it's just, I, and I don't want, like I, I'm not gonna move all that stuff over there. That would just be a monumental task that, and like there's some work stuff in there that I can't move over there. So either way I'd have stuff in two places. Nah, like I, I'm really, I'm really interested in Gitbook, but it's not, I'm not there right now. Um, okay, let me get my launch D stuff back in here. Yeah, I archived it. That's why it wasn't showing up. Oops, don't do that yet. Uh, stand by. Bring up the Vuelta again. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this over on the side right now until I go through it. Um, Cause there might be work related stuff in here. Uh, but let me see if I've got one real quick that I can pull up. So here's a real simple one. So uh, basically the launch D files are a bunch of XML files. Um, and so this is the source code of one of them. And what this does is it just touches a file every 45 seconds um, to verify items are loaded properly. So I think at one point I was just trying to like throw throw a file out every 45 seconds to just make sure things were working. So you give it this label, whatever. Uh, you do that, I, I do that reverse naming. So com.allenwsmith is my, you know, it's my domain basically. And then dot touch test, so whatever. Um, something, and if you look in that, if you look in that library launch agents folder uh, on a Mac, you'll probably see a few things there. Like Adobe put some stuff in there. Um, uh, Google put some stuff in there. How did Google get in there? Oh, Chrome. Um, and so these are basically processes when your when your system fires up. Um, these processes will shoot off, and they've got a couple. They've got different things that they can do. Like so, this one 
is start interval. So right, it's just going to crop over an interval and do whatever the program argument is. Um, and or the, so the program argument is touch the the command touch and then this path. So um, every forty five seconds, it's just going to make it's going to touch the file. Um, and here's a watch directories one. Give me one second. Again, I just need to check this and make sure everything's cool. Um, yeah, so, and this will be the start of what we use. Um, <laughs> this one I had in the other notes. To watch a folder, which is what we want to do. So, so what I'm going to do here is uh, the PHP process should be able to write a file. So it can't launch Finder. Like Finder is a different app, a different application. Like that's that's not working. Um, and it gave me the opportunity to let that work, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want the I don't want the web browser um, having Finder access. Like that's just like I want I want separation between those things. Um, it can. Like a PHP script can get in there and do stuff. Well, and I guess that's kind of funny, right? But there's some, that's super weird. I'm more nervous about the, the server software being able to do it because that's actually what's making the request than an actual PHP script. That's interesting, I hadn't thought through that. Um, It's still something about that just still feels scary and I can't articulate what um, but this is another one so I did this in 2014 and last modified in 2017 so it's been a while since I've messed with this and I'm not sh and like uh, as of June 21st I'm trying to use just use automator directly oh, I guess automator comes with everything now Should we use Automator instead of LaunchD? Yeah, let's look at Automator. Again, this is kind of all over the place, but um, Automator and iCloud. Uh, here, if we cancel that. Does it let us get a new? Sorry, you can't see my menu because of the way I've got this stuff cropped. Um, Folder action. Folder actions are workflows that are attached to a folder in Finder. Items added to the folder cause the workflow to run and are used as input to the workflow. Choose a folder. Uh, how about, well, I don't want to do that for the desktop because then anytime something hits the desktop, it's going to do that. That's, that's a little bit of a trick with this. Um, so where do I want to put this? Uh, Let's just put it inside. Where's my finder? There it is. Nope. Yep. Uh, let's be right here. Current GIF. So now I just need to choose that folder. And then how are we going to do Automator? Um, ask for finder items. Always open, launch application, open folder. The action open folder is provided by third party. Third parties must be explicitly enabled. What? Third parties allows developers to extend the functionality of Automator. Enabling this functionality allows actions written by third party developers to execute arbitrary actions on behalf of UI or running workflows. 
Hang on a second. Oh, can you? I'm not sure you can see that. Um, I don't know why open folder isn't. Oh, here we go. Let's see what this is. This action opens a designated folder on remote computers. Passed from the previous action. Okay. Still says it's from Apple. I don't know why it's saying it was given a third party warning, but what does this open finder do for us? Input fire and folders, result finder and files folders. Okay. So if we do this, open with open finder items, open with finder. Ooh, I have a lot of apps. Uh, Can you not? Oh, I'm, I don't know where I'm going. ABCF. There's no finder in here. Um, default application would be the finder. I was going to run this. The folder action will not receive input when run inside Automator. To test this folder action with an automator, add the gets, remove or disable the action before running inside of automator. So get, we need to add get specified finder items. Stuff is beeping, I don't know if that's. Get specified finder items. So put that here. Add. That. What happens if we run this? To test this folder action with an automator, add. Yes. I did that. Oh, look at that. It opened and it brought it to the front. Run that again. Oh, it brought it to the front, put it over there, but that's fine. It's, it was on the wrong screen, but like. Okay, so let's. Uh, let's test this. So we're gonna close that. I'm getting excited. Um, Acid by Jeremy Black. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this test action. Where you can see it. I was clicking run up here earlier. So I'm, I'm targeted for current GIF. And then it's gonna open with the default action, which I hope this gets passed and that's just what gets open. How do we... All right, so now... Didn't go over, did it? Yeah, it did. Um, that's in the wrong place. So I'm not gonna use LaunchD, I'm just gonna use Automator. Automator's built into a Mac, that's, that's the way to do this. Um, So what should, nope, good lord. Uh, which uh, local launchpad, HTML prod, GIFs. All right, I don't know if that action is wired up yet, but what we can do is if we copy the salute loop into current GIF, nothing happened, okay. I don't think it's wired up yet. You know what I should really do is put this right here. Make it easier to get to. Um, so I copied in, just didn't do anything yet. Luke. Uh, okay, so how do we make that file? 
save. Save folder action as um, open current GIF. This is, that's one of the things that's always messed with me about um, Automator is I don't have a conceptual space of where those files go. I can find them, that saves a file somewhere and it's somewhere in the system. Um, it just, it throws me. But now, so we just save that. I think that means it's in production. So if we run this copy again, Nothing. That was interesting. It took it a second, but it opened it in. Oh, okay. So it opened it in Chrome. It also took a long time. Um, so the folder actually received, so it received a file. When I made that test run a minute ago, I sent it the folder, but this is actually passing a file. And so it's doing the default action with a GIF, which for me is to open in Chrome. Uh, so that's not gonna work. Open. See why, so open display launch application. I'm pretty sure I can fall back on this and just do Run Apple Script. I love me some scripting. Uh, so, whoop. and then Apple Script open folder. Oh yeah, you just do open. Wait, really? Shell? Oh, like, oh, so we don't actually have to do Apple script. We can do JavaScript or Shell script. And Shell script is the easiest thing to do. ZHS, sure. Open. Uh, current. Right. That's a path. Open that. And now if I run it, that should just open it. And now, if I save this, it's going to save and if I write the other one. We're cool. So now we're in prod again. And now if we copy our file in, I'm in the wrong place. Let's go up directory. Let's try that again. Nothing happened yet. Let me get rid of the first version. There it goes. See, that's slow as all get out though. I mean, that was like, what, several seconds? Um, totally missed, it's two feet away and I missed. How, hmm. All right, I want to try, so Automator probably uses the same folder watching loop as launch D, but I want to try it in launch D and see what happens. Um, this is unstable and live, kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> All right, so let's go back to launch D. Um, Cause that's just, that's super slow. And I think launch D has some slowness to it too, but. Uh, 
I'm, right now I'm trying to figure out how crazy I want to get with this. Excuse me. Um, so this is a folder action, watch paths, folder. Now this is basically what we need right here. Um, Yeah, so here's what I could do. I'll put up my Hugo site for a minute. Um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Woodshed, alanwsmith.com, prod, Hugo, new, stream notes, that date, index, markdown. Yeah, I like this. Especially if I can spell stream notes where there are. September 21st, 2020. Take that off draft right now, just so I don't forget it about later. Um, launch the code. So I'm actually gonna edit this here now as we put it in. Let me just fire this up. Um, so I guess I can do an insane thing. When does that happen? That's just one. Okay. Uh, which uh, Alan Smith, Prod, you go serve. All right. Uh, many a tab. So, but we're gonna make more tabs. But we're gonna do one window actually. Oops. All over the list. Three minutes. Okay. So now I gotta figure out, so this is the first time doing notes in this, so I'll have to figure out kind of how to how to do this and walk back and forth. Um, and I may end up using something like it but like later, but that's okay. Um, launch decode to watch a folder and open it. That's what we're hoping to do. And so now actually what I need to do is also make a new thing here and save it, bring it back over so we can see it. There we go. Um, so com found W Smith open current gif. Yeah, so this is where I don't totally get the launch D stuff. Cause like sometimes you put in a program and then sometimes it's just program arguments, but the first argument is the thing. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and in this one, we're doing a dash E and we pass the full string to it. That's cool. So we don't have to do like line, 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 line. Uh, these are the watch paths. So the watch path that we want is going to be this. And we only need the one of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
folder actions dispatcher to tick. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, but we could do, all right, let me look over here again, because I've got, I don't think there's anything sensitive here. I just haven't looked at these files in forever. Um, take out program arguments. I'm mean, sorry, I'm going to take out program and just do program arguments. And some of this stuff, so the other thing for me that kind of freaks me out is like, it's XML, but like the XML isn't, the order matters. So like this string isn't wrapped inside this key. It's, it's a sibling. So these things are siblings. So you have to process it down, which I mean, obviously it does, but like, it kind of breaks my concept of that XML. I would expect like key to have label and inside key, there would be a string that would be the thing. The string, it's a thing, um, whatever. So we're gonna remove that. We're gonna go to bash and for bash, you use dash C to tell it that you're sending it a command. Um, or something to run basically. Open string, listen to me. Uh, we're going to run the same path. Okay, so that's going to be the file. Um, I'm going to save that to my desktop right now. Whoops. With this name. Dot p list. Yes, I would like to use dot p list. I don't know if you see that. I was asking me. And now I want to do. I want to put a symbolic link in to do that. Um, again, like there's not really anything inside my launch agents. Also, I get symbolic links backwards every single time. So I'm trying to fool myself and do it the other direction. Um, holy crap, I did it right. Um, so all I did was, and eventually if, if this works, I'll move it in for real. But all I did was did this link symbolic path to it on the desktop and then just dropped it into launch agents. Um, so now it's in there, but it's not running yet. I'd have to log out and log back in to let it run because basically the stuff inside that launch agents folder only runs when you log into it, when you log in. Um, but there's a way, and again, we're gonna back off for a second. So you use a thing called launch control to 
start stuff up without having to uh, log in and log off, log out and log in. Um, and I've got a command here that does it. Uh, and so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is like, so right now I really just need to load it. Um, and then Every time you mess with it, you have to unload it and then reload it. So, uh, but we can just load it to start with. Um, let's get to grab that off of here. Nope. Whoops. Okay, that's cool. I don't think you pass plus to it. Yeah, you probably do. So I think that loaded. And then I can check and see what's running by doing a launch control list and grepping Allen, case insensitive. And it's, so it's running. Um, oh, so just so you know what these other two are, rsync archiver, uh, I've got an rsync command in there that runs every hour that syncs all my photos over to my NAS. Uh, and then the git commit grimoire is my grimoire, my MV Alt and book of knowledge and magic uh, is in a git repo. And so I just commit that git repository every hour. So whenever I'm making notes, um, I, if I really screw something up and I don't figure it out till later, I can go back and find it in the archive of the, of the git repo. Um, anyways, that's running. So that has started. Let's see how fast it is. Where are we going? Nope. All right, so we're going to get rid of current GIF salute. Yeah, okay, up there. Oh! Oh my God, something changed in the folder and it, it fired. So apparently inserts and deletes both, I think is what's happening. And if it's that fast, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be what we want. Please be that fast. That's fast enough. That's perfect. That's way better than Automator. I don't know what the difference is. And so hopefully that's just not one of those things where, um, oh shit, is the Automator thing still running? I don't know if the automator one's still running. It is still running. How do we kill that? I'm kind of surprised they both didn't. See, this is one where I don't get Um, again, I'm just looking through the menu bar up here that y'all can't see because of the cropping. Uh, provide automator feedback, reset warnings. Remove automator folder actions. Remote desktop, create automator, remote folder tutorial. See, that's the thing. I don't know where that, like, it just saved as, as a name. I don't know where it saved. Um, and I want to make sure it gets out of there. Uh, where is, I'm going to look over here for a second. Um, Oh wait, 
actually, do I have... Bookmark sites. I bet, I bet I archive those notes off. Oops, I didn't need to do that. I need to do this. Automator. Yeah, there's all my automator stuff. All right, hang on. See, I, I haven't done a bunch of this stuff in a long time, so I've archived off a bunch of the notes just because my... Right now, my notes have... Well, when I put these automators in, there's 3,058 files in my notes thing, which is to say a lot. Um... It's still responsive, and I should just let it go. But for I, when I was around five, and I've got so I've got three thousand there, and I've got three thousand in the archive. And when it was around five thousand, it felt like it was getting sluggish. Um, so give me just a minute, and let me figure out where. And again, I want to look at this over here, uh, just in case there's work stuff in here. Storage locations. See, again, this is why I keep these notes and take them around. So in 2014, I figured out that folder actions are in this folder. Um, so real quick, where are we going? Library, library, there's my library, what was it? Workflows, applications. Workflows, applications, folder actions. So we zoom all the way down there. Here's that workflow. But like, and that's that's another thing I just I'm not as fan of with Automator is like, oh, well, actually maybe it shows you. Oh, actually when you hit open, it shows you the path. Never mind. Um, I'm less disappointed in Automator. I don't think it used, I used to not be able to find those things. They used to be just like weird. Um, anyways, I found it, I'm gonna delete it. So we can quit this. We don't need this because we're doing it through our little actions over here. Um, so I wonder if I should just put, like should I put this stuff? Yeah, why not? That's working. It's the wrong page. Why don't you go to watch it folder and open it? Bottom of your storage locations. I don't know why that's red. Why is that red? Like, see, I prefer spaces in between my That's what worked. And let's test it one more time now that we've got that other. Um... Boom, so fast. Boom. 
That's awesome. Because now what we can do is verify that that's going to work, but I think that's going to work. So let's go back to our PHP. Let's go back to our PHP. Let's find our PHP. Uh, so there's our notes. I should write this in a different app. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, that's the wrong thing. I want to mess with that later. We've got that. That's cool. Um, actually, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to make a note. just my note in my um, for my documentation of like hey I just added this launch D script so when I want to go look at what am I so easiest way to look at your launch D scripts is go look at them um, but that'll just remind me like hey you've got this thing set up I'm really I'm I'm happy with that I'm really happy with that I, I really like the idea of doing that launch D stuff too instead of automator all automator just always felt a little bit I don't know, something, something to me. Um, and a couple live streams ago, I was also trying to mess with it, but then ended up using uh, Keyboard Maestro. So again, Automator is losing these fights left and right. And it's, it's just almost, it feels like one of those things where it's, it's not quite consumer and it's not quite pro, even though you can do a lot of pro stuff with it. And I don't think very many consumers are probably messing with that stuff too much, even though they should, I don't know. And then there's like Hazel and there's, um, what's the one that I use? Alfred. Um, there's all kinds of stuff out there for doing this automation stuff, but I really kind of like the, the not having to do another application, um, and just doing it in code. Right. So that's cool. And then every time I do that, I get another example of how to work. Like uh, there's, I don't know, I had probably 20, 30 launch D scripts that I've done over time that have stuff in there. Um, so that was like, you know, this was pretty easy for me because I already had done all the work to figure it out and like how to do the bash script, how to do the watch folder. Um, that was really it. Uh, but the first few times through that, that was non-obvious. Um, there was a whole bunch of banging around trying to find stuff. Uh, but so let's go here. I don't know what's different. I'll, just, I'll work on that. Uh, that's all I meant. I want to go to here. See, part of me wants to. No, actually, here, let's make a new window. Let's get our gifts. Well, let's launch it. So, we're not doing anything yet. But what we're going to do. Yeah, I do need to move that to another window. I'm going to do that because it's going to keep getting in the way. So, let's go to BB Edit. Open. I don't think BB Edit has auto save though, which is something I prefer. Uh, which uh, my site prod content stream. Nope, that didn't work at all. Why is it going back? Oh, you can't see that, but don't worry about it. Somewhere in here it says stream. I'm probably right on top of it. Yep. Okay. I do want to leave that one open though, just because that's a piece I'm working on uh, and it feels like the right thing to do. So, uh, I'm not even going to keep any of this stuff. Like, well, set frontmost to true. Is that the one that? Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Um,
Apple script. Move finder to front. I don't expect to need this. Um, it's doing it on the other screen. Uh, Yeah, that's actually an interesting thing. I would say scripts, tell finder open. Ah, whatever, screw it. Um, suppress. Yes, that's how you supposed to press. Suppress. Uh, and so I guess we can do this over here. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, I'm just kind of playing around with this to see how this goes. See, BB I have autosave. Expert preferences. It's always funny for me when you gotta search for your um, thing. Yeah, it comes active, open docs, printing colors. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't have, I don't think it has auto save. Which is a bummer. Like I, Sublime Text, one of the things I like about Sublime Text is when you flip off of it, it automatically saves the file, um, which could then automatically uh, update or automatically kick off a process here if you were doing that. Um, but like, so it'll actually on the blog, that should have updated. Why didn't it update? Did I kill it? It's still running. Oh, cause it, cause it didn't save. Save. And now there's a new line. Um, yeah, this is okay. I think this is going to work okay. So, what I can do is just throw a whole bunch of code and snippets and stuff in here just to have them out there. And then I can embed the video as well. So, it'll just kind of work like a little, um, a little note, a little thing. Um, and it's not, it's not all cohesive or it's not all whatever, but like this will be kind of attached to it. Yeah, okay, this, I think this, this is a good way to go for now. Cool. So I've got that, that I don't need to have. I got this. So let's get back to here. Here. Now, what are we gonna do? I don't need these right now. Uh, PHP copy file. Copy, copy, copy. Let's see what sex got for us. So good file there. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. So hey, look, copy. The destination already exists. Will we have written. Okay, cool. Does not create directories, that's fine. 
You use the rename. I don't want to rename. Um, so I want to copy. I'll just skim down and see what else is going on here. Um, whoa, that's a lot. Copy using dynamic, copying, pasting. Creating main folder, Renick out evil called. Change the mod to its subfolder, subfolder. This is making a bunch of directories. I wonder if you can use make dir p for doing the parents and getting it down. Directory, results, pulling back in. I don't know what the at copy is. I think there's going to be something like this to build every user's new dynamic dashboard. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. So I had the answer. Um, good old Stack Overflow. Uh, so we're going to test it and then we're going to upcheck that. Upcheck? Uptick? I don't know. Something. Um, all right, just copy. Path, path. Copy. Let's get our salute Luke. That gif, right? I, I used to do a lot more copying and pasting of this stuff. I don't know why I'm not doing that as much right now. Um, Does not current gif. There we go. And we're just gonna do that for now. Uh, actually, we can go ahead and make this send it. Okay. So what I hope happens is when I refresh this page, it opens up a finder window for us, and I'm gonna open one. I'm going to close one over here, so hopefully it opens here too. Because uh, right now, actually, we're going to delete this. But it was already open? I don't know. Crap, I hope this works. We're going to see what happens. I hope it really wasn't that workflow that was doing it and not that. Oh, it didn't copy. Okay. Why didn't it copy? Copy. I think I spelled all that stuff right. I'm excited. That's a long way around to get there, but we got there. Cool. So check this out. I think what that means too, I'm gonna leave that sit, actually, if I, if I refresh it again, does it pop up again? It does. So it doesn't matter that it has the same name and I'm ever writing the same file. It just, it sees the action and it goes, man, come on, launch D, look at you. So I'm just gonna steal this from here, header location, which does our bounce redirect to the root. So I'm not, nothing's gonna happen on this page other than it's gonna bounce us back to the, oh, actually no, it's gonna bounce us back to uh, GIFs index.php. So let's actually go there. Now let's try it. 
Booyah! That's awesome. Okay, that's that's a big portion of the work. Um, so I'm not using the web server for this, but that's okay. Like, and again, this is like I'm not trying to make production code here that's deployable for everybody else. This is a tool that I use for me. This is custom to me. So um, there's no like I don't have to worry about like, hey, is this cross-platform or, you know, oh, you have to install like you already have to install MAMP. Launch D actually comes installed, so you just gotta copy and paste the stuff. If you want to do it, cool, have at. If you're on a Windows machine and you want to use the same thing, you'll have to figure out how to trigger the thing to fire. Or perhaps there's a PHP way to do it there. All good. This is just for me to do the thing. And I'm going to do it again because I like it. That's awesome. Um, and I can put that anywhere. I can do whatever I want with it. Um, I'm not going to put it on, I'm not going to put it to the desktop. Um, at some point, I may, I may put it in a folder that's a little bit cleaner than this, just because, like, this is kind of ugly or whatever. Um, or it just has a bunch of crap in it. Um, not crap. It has a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, but I'm not going to put it directly on the desktop. Uh, well, actually, I guess I could copy it to the desktop. No, it's like, so anytime, anytime you put something on the desktop... In general, it would fire open the desktop, and I don't want to have that happen. That, that's too much. So I need I need it to be in a subfolder for my sanity. Um, uh, but this this will work for now. Um, okay, cool. So now, so now, okay, so now the next trick is going to be how. What what do I want to do for the next trick? So for the next trick, for my next trick. Um, The, the things I need to do are to display all the GIFs and then to set up the pathing for the GIFs so that when you click on one, it jumps over. And then also resize the GIFs down so that they're not gigantic um, on, the, on the display. So what's the best part to do that with? Um, let me start... Let me just start by getting a list of all the GIFs um, and go in there. So uh, PHP, I don't think I really have any PHP notes. List, yeah, I have very few PHP notes. Um, I've done very, yeah, 2019, it was last time I messed with some of this stuff and that's when I was just getting going. Uh, what do I need to do for this? I need to list the directory. PHP list. Actually, let me just look at my notes and see if there's stuff in my archive. I feel like there should be stuff in my archive. Uh, did the music stop? No, it's just really... The sleeping prophet went to sleep on us. Lazy boy blues. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Lazy boy blues. Uh... Where am I going? I'm going a little brain dead, but that's okay. Because Bama's plucking grit. Have her name and grab some flame. Fight on, fight on. Grimoire. Look in the archive, you'll win. Then. So here's all the archive stuff. It's a bunch of ideas. Objective C, Perl, post, whoops, probably PHPs. Yeah, I've done very little PHP. Eh. Uh, so we're gonna close NVL just so we don't freak it out when we drop in a whole bunch of other files, even though it's fine with that. We're gonna drop in our PHP files back into our main mix. 26 was the number I saw. Here's all the draft posts that I have. You see those? Yeah. Holy cow. Yee, that's a lot. One of these days, uh, PS for Photoshop JavaScript. That's some fun stuff too. Um, all right, get the grimoire going again. 
Yeah, now PHP matches some other stuff. Uh, list files in a directory. Now here's the trick. So yeah, 2012. I'm gonna go ahead and look this stuff back up uh, because it is quite possible in the past eight years that there is now a better way to do this. Also, I love the fact that it actually maintained the, like when I moved the files back and forth, it actually maintained when I did these. And I think 2011, I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I've had, I've, I've been writing in this notebook for at least nine years, and I think it's been longer than that. Um, actually, I wonder. I just thought of something else we can do. Uh, in B, oh. Uh, the last time I did anything on it was in what I'm running, open apps. Um, oh, yee. Yeah, so I've, I've moved blogs a few times and like the formatting is, or I've moved blog software a few times and the formatting has gone a little bit wonky on a few things. Uh, so we did a copy, we did a copy, we're pretty solid there. Oh wait, actually, so, I mean, just to do it, right? Also, got foo. I've got a in foo directory as well as bar. How can I replace bar slash test using PHP? And one is XP. Question: When this is preferred? It's not the greatest of questions, but like, I'm still gonna get there. Uh, and so, and just because we're we're doing it, I'm just gonna throw in all the stuff that we do. So I could have just, um, I could have copied exactly that piece of text and it would have been fine, but like, just kind of want to write my own. Um, let me just put in some of the stuff, just rename. Oh, now I have to figure out how crazy I want to get with the notes. Um, Cause like, you know, like this did, and I love this, where'd it go? Uh, where'd it go? Oh, good Lord. There we go. Like, I love that he's got, or she, they, um, have linked up the actual function here. So um, whatever, but we gave him a plus. Uh, Yeah, and so, oh, is that a link? Oh, it's a code and a link, that's cool. Um, whatever, so that's that may be a little overkill for that kind of stuff, but like, that's what we ran into, so why not? Um, I'll see what we do that. I'm still figuring this out. All right, well, this will be a continual figuring out. Uh, now what we need to do is find us PHP, List files in directory. Directory. Scander. Open dir. Close dir. Oof, that was from also 2011. I was just seeing if Scander was in here. The styles and directories inside the specified path. Scander, we give it a directory. The directory will be scanned, sorter. We want this. Oh, actually, we do want this order. 
By default, the sort order is alphabetical in ascending order. Uh, it's probably going to give us capital letters and lowercase letters as different things. So it just, it just moves it into an array. Okay, let's see what that does. Um, so I'm gonna turn off the head, uh, this now because we don't wanna bounce. It wouldn't bounce anyways once we send uh, content down, but I don't even wanna try. So, let's call it something meaningful. Gifter equals, now here's the question, do you send absolute paths? Oh, actually, you know what? Here's the question. Can it use paths off of, so this isn't in the web server route. This is outside. Um, I could move it into the web server route if I need to. But right now it's not there. So let's see what that does. Am I showing that? Yeah, okay. So if files equals scander, thank you. Gifter. see errors because I think there's an error happened right oh maybe not why am I not seeing anything launch gift at PHP right launch gift at PHP oh semicolons Does that work? No, okay, that chokes. And my guess is that I didn't put a semicolon there. You'd think all the years I spent in Perl, it would come back to me pretty quickly. Okay, so that's it looks like it's scanning the directory even though it's outside the thing. So that's cool. A little concerning, but cool. Um, maybe that's just the way the MAMP has it figured out? Because lots of times, when you set up a web server, you don't let it scan stuff outside of its actual directory. Um, but it looks like maybe this is doing that. And again, this is one of those like, yee, but like it's local and it's fine. Um, but I wouldn't set up a, um, I don't think I would set up a machine like that. I would want everything to be underneath and then explicitly call out to specific directories if you need to hit other ones. Um, what are we doing? Print R, isn't that what the thing was? Print R. Print R. GIF files. There's all bunch of GIF files. GIF files. Sweet. Oh, that's so cool. Um. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go kind of for a happy path here. Actually, I'm gonna get because right now these aren't sitting under the web server, so I can't if I call I can't call them directly and have them show up. Eventually, what I want to do is grab them from wherever the source is and resize them down to smaller ones. But I don't want to have to deal with that right now. The first thing I want to do is get them to show up. So I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna work on getting them to show up and I'm gonna be kind of, I'm not gonna say sloppy, but I'm again, the, the idea that I like is, is the Sandy Met thing of shameless greed. I'm just like, I'm gonna do the code, whatever the code is that gets me there, I'm gonna get there and then I'll come back and refine it to make it, cause I'm gonna learn a bunch of stuff while I'm doing that. Um, so we're just gonna do this for now. So 
So under gifts, we're gonna do this and we're gonna make source. And we're gonna put our friend Luke in here. Uh, and you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna go to gifts for one. We're gonna get Lando. And we're gonna get Boba Fett. Um, I can take the that out of there for right now. That's fine. The reason I had that underscore there was to make that GIF show up at the top because I send that GIF a lot. Um, got a buddy on Discord who lives in Ireland, and he's like, he says good night much earlier than us. So whenever he says good night, if I see it. I should actually look right now and see if he's said that. Nah, whatever, it's fine. Um, when I see it, I throw that GIF. That's just like the standard thing. Eventually, I'm going to write a bot that does that. But I wanted that GIF to be quick and easy to get to. Oh, I guess I could do that too. I could actually keep that GIF all the way up at the top. Um, so whenever I click on it, it goes in. Um, see? Ideas. Uh, oh, the other one. Let me do this too. So the other thing I do, right, is I keep uh, SDL for my... Twitch ideas, put a search box. I can't spell my name right now. Um, I'm a little brain fried, but that's okay. We're going to keep going for a bit. Two hours? That's yeah, all right. Um, All right, so we've got our array. I want to point that, get rid of that for now. That should be the right directory, right? There we go. Um, I'm going to ignore these. Oh, I wonder if there's, if Skander has a way. Redirect glob. Ooh, find path. So glob might be. Easy way to get rid of the dots that Skender picks up in Linux environments. Array diff. Oh, you just pass it an array with those two in it. Oh, that's an interesting take. But if we do glob which is a way we can search for specific things. String and flags. Uh, zero one matches. Let's try glob, because that way we don't have to deal with those dots, if it works. And then also any other stuff that's in there that's not a GIF, if other stuff gets in there. Um, so that's actually better. Uh, so let's do that. Glob. I'm just going to hard cut it for now. Where's my star? Oh, what do I got in there? Boom. It also gives us the directory path, too, which is nice. Um, Yeah, we can actually do, I'll bet you can do wood cheat, wood shed, launch pad, HTML, prod, source. Let's see if that actually works. Did I get that right? Nope. I just want to see if that works. Uh, new tab. Wood shed, launch. HTML. Oh, because it was in GIFs source. I was close. I was very close. Let's see if that works. Yeah, so we get that gives us our full pass, which I like. Um, so I guess you could just do files because I'm going to want to copy it. Ah, I don't know. Um, 
This will be fine for now. What am I doing? Uh, so let's go over here. Let's go back to our main page for a second. All right, so that's working. Let's just call our other three here just so we can see them. And again, this is, I just wanna, I'm doing this manually just cause I wanna see stuff work. I could actually alphabetize them just for fun. So now, there we go, some GIFs. And so the first thing I want to do is just figure out a way to just show those. What's the easiest thing to do? Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to end up moving all my gifts into this folder. Uh, into the source folder just because that's the easiest thing for me to do. That way I don't have to try and read them from some other place and then pass them uh, pass them back over. Uh, so that's cool. So now, so okay, so this is what I'm trying to do. I need to just re replicate this. So let me go back to this and do this. And really what I want to do, I'm on the wrong file. Because really what I want to do Okay, I want to I want things to keep working. So I don't want to I don't want to break the work that I've already done. So if I click on this. It gives me my send it. I'm just going to test that one more time. I don't know where I'm going. It opened because I closed it, I think. So if I click on this, it doesn't matter which one I click on. It's just firing to launch GIF, which then does that. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that there for now. That's cool. I like it. But all the stuff I was doing a second ago up here isn't going to happen on this page. It's going to happen on the index page. And also, I'm going to let this bounce back because we'll work on the rest of that later. So that's cool. I'm going to leave that there. I don't need this anymore. Got very ominous. Um, this is what I need to replicate or re reproduce or something. I don't know. Oh, I put all those in one A. Whoops. Oh, well, that's so great. Oh, well. So we're going to put some PHP code in here. And the PHP code we're going to put in here is this. Now if we come back over here, all right, we got it. So now I don't know how to do the for loop in PHP. statement. Is there a PHP array loop? Surely you can just loop over an array for each. There we go for each array expression as value. Okay. As key value. I don't even need that. Uh, so we do here. It's kind of weirded, weirded me out that this isn't showing up as code. Like it's PHP, oh. 
There we go. For each that, do you put it in? Doesn't show put it in. Okay, there you go. Oh, as value. As, do you put it in dollar sign? Yeah. Gift file. Echo. Gift. Whoops. Ah, come on. File. All right, what we got? There's a gift files. Uh, so we're gonna do this. <coughs> Excuse me. I just want some space and then horizontal rules so I can make sure I can see what's going on. There we go. Because uh, now what I want to try and do is just load those little puppies in. Uh, PHP echo. I don't know how to do the uh, formatted strings. Uh, it's going to be a library. Um, Steve, yeah, it's uh, so what it is, is I've got a whole bunch of GIFs here, some of which I've made, some of which I haven't. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm making a page where I can click on a GIF and it'll automatically just give me a copy of it real quick so that I can just drag it and send it to wherever I want. Um, yeah, it's cool. I'm kind of, it's been fun. Uh, took me a little while to figure out how to actually get the window to launch, um, but but got it there. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a quick one. And then of course, over time, I'm sure I'll end up like building a database behind it and tagging it and getting all that other stuff. Probably not actually gonna do that, uh, but you could. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm making my own GIF fleet basically is what it amounts to. Um, and uh, that'll make me even faster to respond with GIFs, which is kind of my thing now. Um, Anyways, I've got so I've got I've got these names down. So I think what I should be able to do, yeah, give enough time. That's what will happen exactly. Um, so I should be able to do. How does echo statements work? And uh, so can I just do it in double quotes? Is that gonna get me there? It looks like it. So I should just be able to do um, image source equal. Oh, it's gonna not like the. Well, I'm I'm cheating. I'm using single quotes. I don't like it, but, but there we are right now. There's a gif. There's a gif. There's a gif. That's loading our gifs. And then a href equals, again, single quotes, because that's awful, but that's where we are right now. I'm gonna put a break right there too, just to get them all on the same line. So now they should be hot in a line, cool. And now we can get rid of these. That was our placeholders, get rid of that. So we should have, there's our gifts. Okay, cool, and they're hot to nowhere, but we're going to send them to launch gif.php, which should fire it up. There we go. Now I just got to send the right one to it. Okay. Um, that's cool. We're a lot of the way there. Uh, so next step, we need to send the file path. So we're going to send that as a get parameter, uh, which is here. And we're just going to do gif equals, and then, oh shit, I don't know if any of these file names. I'm not going to worry about the file. I think the file names are all fine for URLs right now, because they've all got dashes and they're all, none of them have funny characters or spaces. Um, we'll clean that up later, uh, just because it may uh, it may be a problem at some point. So we're gonna grab our GIF file here. We're gonna do this. Let's just send it to make sure it works. Still works. Now we get to go back over here. 
and we're gonna stop this for a second. Um, because we want to see it happen. Oh, I didn't go. Oh, because that freaking semicolons. I'll figure that out one of these days. Okay. Cool. So it's copying and launching. And it's stopping there. So I can so I should be able to see. Yes, yeah, source. Here's our source. So how do we do get parameters? Which are the things that happen. So in a in a URL, you've got example.com. You can pass parameters without changing the actual URL by putting a question mark and then doing key equals value. So that's a get parameter. Um, and in PHP, you can access those with this. Oh, get var is deprecated. Okay, get. So we're going to do a get and then the name. And then you should escape it with HTML special characters, it looks like. We're just going to copy that. So I just want to print it for a second. And it should, we called it GIF. So that should be it. That looks right. There it is. So that's our source. And right now, when we're copying, it's always just hard coded to copy Luke here. But if we instead, and so this is, I'm not doing a secure vetting of this string. I know that this is only on my local host, only with my web server, and only in the way that I'm doing it. Even with that, I'm probably going to go back and add this as a secure way, but what I'm doing is not secure, and it could be uh, a vector for an attack. Don't do this in production. I will also be fixing that at some point here very shortly. Right now, I'm just trying to get the thing to go. So here's the question. If I go back here and I click on Boba Fett, do we see Boba Fett pop up? There's Boba Fett. I'm going to take out the blocker and let it go back to um, uh, the front page every time. So now we should see Lando. There's Lando. Now we should see Luke. Oh, come on. Did I go too fast? Oh, there's Luke. See, sometimes there's that pause. It's pretty fast, but I think there actually is a cooldown period um, on launch D of about 10 seconds, where if you keep firing things at it, it, it basically cools it off to make sure you're not just you know hogging resources. But let's give Boba another shot. There's Boba. This is awesome. This is exactly what I was working for. And now let's go for Luke. Ready? And there's Luke. Sometimes it's faster than the other, but what was that? Like a second and a half, two seconds? Uh, and so now um, what I could do very easily is uh, I could come over here and I could drag Luke to Steve to see if Steve is still watching. We'll see. Probably not. Um, that's it. Okay, cool. That's that's the key of it, right? So I can, so like right now I could just keep dragging files in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, you just gotta you just gotta Luke salute. I should have done something other than Luke salute. Oh, that's all good. Um, so now I can so I can just keep at um, uh, yeah. I I got some I got some tabs with you there. Um. So what's cool is I can just keep adding GIFs. Where's my thing? HTML prod, GIFs, source. I can just keep adding them here. And what should happen, zoop. There we go. So I'm not formatting anything, and I'm also not resizing them. And the resizing thing is going to be interesting, because if we go check out um, one of the ones that I made, which are ridiculously large. Um, what was the one I was looking at earlier? Teen Titans. 
one meg, two meg, 700, blah, 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 one meg, one meg, two meg, five, four meg. Um, where, there's seven and a half meg. Oh, here we go. 11 meg. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. I think I didn't copy and paste those. I just drag and dropped them. I don't want to lose those. Hang on. <laughs> you got the GIF. Excellent. Um, cool. So now we're in here. We're going to copy this. We're going to paste this. So this is a 11 and a half meg file. Um, or 11.8 meg of Raven defeating blocks. So what happens if we re, uh, refresh this page now? Yeah. See, that's maybe a little, a little much. Um, it works. And also it loaded super fast. Okay, so now I'm I'm just gonna do the test just to see what happens if I throw my entire archive in there to start with. Um, or not my entire archive, but my main, my primary archive. Uh, I just wanna see how fast the page loads. Pesto. Replace them all because they're already there. All right, so quick test of the page load. Refresh. Ooh, went really fast. Oh, but it's still loading all the GIFs. Also, machine's probably gonna crash. <laughs> it's loading them. That actually isn't bad for a load. Also, that is a lot of images on a page. But like it's super, like I was actually wondering if I'd have to paginate between stuff, but like, I think if I, oh, and actually, so let's, let's do it. Let's do a, another test. So who are we going to test here? Um, what's a good test to do? Oh, I think this is a good test. Let's see if we, if we're thinking it right. Actually, professor. Nah, here we go. Ready? Does it work? Boom. Works. Yeah, Steve, I'm going to make them all the same size. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Or at least I'm going to make them all the same width, and then the heights will be variable because um, their their aspect ratios are different. But that way I can stack them in a table uh, and row them down. Um, and I'll have to figure out if I want to make it like dynamically resized or whatever, but I'm probably just going to hard code a little bit. Um, but this is cool. Like this, So that's, that's, the, that's my primary GIF archive. And like click on it. Two seconds and I'm there. That's what I've been working for. Like I'm actually, this is this is version one. Like I just made version one. It's ready to go. Um, next steps are uh, setting up to. Well, I I could just move the archive in here, because um, it doesn't matter where I keep the the gifts. Uh, the next step, though, I do want to do or one of the next steps is going to be to uh, get into directories. So like right now, all this stuff is sitting here. I still have some stuff sorted though in all these folders um, because I want to, um, I'm going to start making blog post pages about all the gifts that I cut. And so these are just like, here's a batch of gifts that I cut for this particular subject. Once I've done that, I'll move them into the big archive. But I want to I want to have the capability of getting here, and I'll I, I'm sure I could do that. Um, or I will I'll, I will do that. Um, but the other the other one is going to be doing the resize. Um, yeah, we'll screw around with the resize for a little bit and see what happens. Um, but I'm I'm stoked about this. This is cool. Uh, wibbly wobbly. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, see, now I'm already thinking about tagging. Oh, can you do... Oh, so here's something that's super interesting. I don't know if I have to have a database because if you... Can you do... Um, why do I have two Photoshops? I don't know. Because um, if you can do EXIF data on a GIF, 
file info, which you can't see because it's over there. I'll bet I'll bet we could put tags in here. And so I, there wouldn't have to be a database at all. You could just tag directly inside the files. Right? So Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars. Uh, Luke, whatever. I'll have to figure out how I want to do the... I guess I should do it in keywords. Okay. Uh, let me duplicate that just in case it freaks it out. Save. Now let's go to a PSD. Oh, it opened it up as all the individual layers. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to look at that. But if there's a way to do EXI, EXIF data, I can store the tags directly in the GIFs. And that way, I don't have to worry about databasing anything. Um, let me get rid of that for now. Get rid of that. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, so sizing. Sizing, sizing, sizing. Um, how does one size? Hang on. I just love that it works. Oh wait, it didn't update. Yeah, it did. There we go. Um, I'm super excited about this. I'm like this excited about this. Uh, okay, so PHP resize image. Image copy resized. Image scale, that sounds good. Resize image in PHP, hello Stack Overflow. A highly active question. I have enough reputation to answer or unprotect this question. Hooray. Oh good lord. Oh, okay, you need to use either PHP's, oh, it's got image magic or GD, okay. Scale an image using the given new height and width. New width, new height, image. An image resource returned by one of the image creation functions. But I don't, I wanna do, I wanna update the file. I don't want to have to do this. So what I don't want to have happen is every time I load the page, I don't want to have to do the resizing. Oh, look at that cache. It's all cached too. Ugh, beautiful. Um, this guy. Oh, that's super cool. Um, I, so I want them all resized down. But if you have to do that processing every time across all the files, it would slow things down tremendously. So I need to, I basically, what I need to do is it needs to scan through my, my source files. It needs to then have a, a resized directory. And when it scans through the source files, it looks at that resized directory and sees if it has a matching file. And if not, it needs to make one. It's basically making a cache. Of a, of a smaller size image. Um, and then you could do some other stuff like looking at the timestamps and blah, 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 blah. But that's going to be enough just, just by doing name. You'll watch the names and see if a, a resized one is there. And if it is, cool. If not, make the resized one. And then that way, every time you load the page, it'll do a real quick scan. It'll see if anything needs to be resized. If not, it'll just load the files. And that'll, that'll be super fast because um, it'll just be looping through the directory structure in no time, um, which it's already looping through the directory structure to grab all these. Um, and it's that's a super fast thing. Um, so, I, so I don't want to just, I think what this image resize doing is doing 
is taking an image dynamically and resizing it on the fly. And that's not, that's not what we want. Um, so this is actually talking on Peter, which automatically resizes it on uploaded via form. Yeah. So this person is doing what I want to do. They, you get a file and then you upload the file or then you resize the photo. So here, when is this answer from? Yes, this is from 2013. Um, image copy resized. Copy and resize part of an image. In other words, image copy resize takes a rectangular area of a source image with a source, source width and height at positions X and Y and places in a rectangular area's destination image. Does it, Let's see some examples. File name is test JPEG. Uh, see content type header JPEG. So I think this is, yeah, this is outputting. This is outputting directly to the browser. That's not what I want either. Um, ah, yuck. Image size, class methods. See, I think this is still doing the same thing. That, I think that other one that was talking about using image magic is going to be the way to go. Because I can just call it to image magic um, and have it go uh, that way with all this stuff. Can resize the exact size within an array. Privates. Set image to file name. Set image. Image JPEG. This image, image from JPEG. Save the image as the original type the original was. Okay, so this is actually doing save. Save image, image quality. Okay, so here's the, what we're passing to it. Image JPEG. This new image safe path image quality. Where did image JPEG come from though? Did it make that? For each mind type, you know, PHP. That will allow you to save the image by passing the new image resource. Okay, so we can do it natively, which if I can do it natively, I'd like to. I'll put image to browser or file. Ah, okay, good. So resource creates a GIF and to an image from, okay. Image format will be whatever unless cool, I don't care. Image resource returned by one of the image creation functions, such as image create to color. Okay, so we need to create an image from the file. So let's see. Make the background white and string. Convert a ping to a GIF. Image create. So I need one of the image create. What is this? GIF support was removed from the GD library version 1.9, added back into 2.8. This function is not available between these versions. Okay, it should be now. So I just need to figure out image types and image GIF, hair types GIF image. I need the image create. functions. Where are those? 
image create. So I need to make an image object. In general, we recommend the use of image create true color instead of image create so that image processing occurs on the highest quality possible. If you want to output a palette image, use that. Should be called immediately for saving. If you want to output a palette image, then should be called immediately before saving the image. Okay, so I actually am. Let me just see if I can get something working here. So, because you just make this with a path, right? Why the right place? Create a two color image. How do I make it from a file? Create a new palette based on an image. It's not what I'm for. for. Uh, image, create two color image. So that just has a height and a width. I need to give it a file. How do I get a file in there? Same thing. Image types. Create. Image gif resource as an image. Image gif creates a gif file in two. I don't really know what that means. From the image image. The image argument is returned from create. How do I pick it up from a file? Image create from ping. Load a ping. Here we go. OK. So why don't I find image create from GIF? String, file name, resource. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Now what do you need to do with it? Uh, let's try loading it first. Did the music stop? The music stopped. What the hell happened? That was messing with me, and I just realized it. There we go. Kick out a little bit. That was messing with me. I didn't realize how much that was messing with me. I don't do this stuff without music going. Why is that not? Oh, I didn't have it on Play Forever. Play Forever. OK. So here's the things that we know that we're going to need. We're going to need this. And we're going to pass that. Nope, we're going to do this on our index page. And I'm not going to try and loop through all the files right now. I'm going to try and just do one of them. And so the one that I'm going to do we're going to do salute Luke. So let's just see if we can what happens. Again, this is the slow, just kind of don't do too much and go. Um, absolutely, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna back off. Uh, oh, actually, we're gonna do a test right now. So what happens if we move? If we move all of our gifts? into a subdirectory. Does that scander that we did process multiple directories or recurse down directories? Oh, 
Let's find out. Survey says, no, it does not. Okay, fine. Um, I didn't really expect it to. Though I wonder if there's probably a recursive flag for it. Um, but that's not where we are right now. But let's do this just because it's fun. It's so awesome. Uh, so we've got, we're getting our image resource. And we're going to pull that into source gif. I hope that's not an RDS term. Let's just run that to make sure it doesn't explode. Okay, cool. Um, and now, so I'm going to pen this. Let's put PHP in here. I don't need that. Resize image. It's not really good yet. Image scale. Resource. Okay. Let me just try and save it. I just want an input and an output right now. I'm not worried about any dimension stuff. This is the so I I know that I need an end file. That's where I want to get. Copy resized. Copy and resize part of an image. Create a new two drop color image. Actually, so we've got PHP save image. The path or an open stream resource. Which automatically will close when the function returns to save the file to. Okay, cool. So really what we're looking for is the GIF version of this, which I'm gonna guess it's gonna give us at the bottom. Output image to a browser file. Okay, so it takes the image resource which we just made with our other statement, I can't remember what it was. Image, so you got to create it, so that creates the resource. But now, if we load that here into an image GIF, does that explode? Oh, I should make a new, yeah, I'm just going to make a new window. Ha! <laughs> That's what a GIF looks like, folks. If you really wanted to see behind the scenes. Um, so let's figure out how to make that not happen. Uh, creates a GIF image in two. Oh, okay. In two, I got it. So I don't know what this mixed is. I don't understand the PHP documentation. Um, I guess it's, it. I think this is saying, so like for this function or method, I forget which term PHP uses, that it returns a Boolean after the quotes. So we know it, a re, it gets a resource that is an image as a value. And then that means optional, I have to sneeze. I don't know what the mixed is though. Oh, I guess it could be anything. But so two is optional in here and it goes to null, which is just kicking out to the browser. So if we just do so let's actually let's do this. Let's do this so we can see it a little bit easier. Um, source gif resource, which is a little weird. But so that's just this. All right, I'm going to run that just to make sure if I was smart, I would do this in a different browser. Oh, see, I broke it because I didn't put a semicolon. Actually, let's do this. Let's open up Chrome just because that way we're not fighting tabs. It's so fast. Wait, does it work in Chrome? Of course it works in Chrome because it's all server backside. Uh, oh, it's so fast. Whoops, click on it. Wait. Didn't work. Oh, there it goes. 
Eh, sometimes it takes a second or two. Don't like this song. Uh... So now I'm gonna go ahead and close this because we're gonna be back here. So I've got the resource available. Now I'm gonna use image gif, which is gonna create a gif file from, so I just loaded it into memory basically. And now I'm gonna make the actual gif out of it. Uh, and then it, it just outputs that. Right now it goes to image create, yeah. Uh, it doesn't super, yeah, to the path. Be closed yeah if if set to null the raw image stream is output directly so that's interesting that it didn't oh because i don't have a content type so i'm trying to put that in html if we put content header of of gif up there it would have actually shown us the gif um i'm not going to get into that right now don't don't worry about that at the moment um because really just what we need to do for this is so now I'm gonna I'm gonna use this image gif, which is the second one here, right? This one that needs a resource, and so here's our resource that we just loaded. And again, if I don't if I don't do anything else out here, it goes kaboom, and we see all the just the binary back behind it. Um, it's not really binary, but whatever. Um, but now, if we pass it a path which I'm going to make a directory here. Called resized cache. So I want to do a resized cache and then I want to use the same name. Whoops. I hope when we do this, that if we look in this directory, there's our resize cache version. So it's pulling, it's pulling it in and it's dropping it out. Oh, it actually, oh, it's not animating. It stripped, so I was wondering about that. Cause like this is only 45K and the source one is 650, 639K. All right, I want it to, I want it to move. Let's, well, do I want it to move to start with? You know what, to start with just so this is, this is getting the product out the door. To start with, I'm gonna be okay with the fact that it doesn't animate. Um, I'm going to do the resize and I'm going to get them sized up right. And I can, I can, cause the resized cache version doesn't really matter for the rest of the process. It, cause it's only like when I'm delivering the source one into the other file, that one has the animation in it. This is basically just a thumbnail that I'm looking at. Um, so I'm okay. I'm okay with the first iteration, those thumbnails not moving. Eventually we'll get that working, but for now, I'm just going to do a straight resize and um, and work from there. So we've got it. We've got it. Now how? So resource mixed bool. I'm putting an image. Oh yeah, so you can do all kinds of stuff. So you can actually draw on it. You can manipulate the images using the GD library, which I forget what that stands for. Goddamn library, I don't know. Um, convert a ping. To keep animation, you can try the class writing based off GD, GD Enhancer. To create an animated GIF with GIF scale, both storing temporary image on disk. Yes, yeah, see that's, a, that's an external command. Animate GIFs as well as transparent GIFs qualifies as an and should use image color transparent. Print GG does not support animate GIFs. It's over the old fashioned way. These have like negative ratings. So, okay. Um, not worried about that. 
uh, PHP resize image. Get back to the same thing. Image scale. Scale an image using the given. Okay, that sounds good. I like that. I need perfect audio. I need perfectstreamaudio.com. So we take an image, we give it a new width, whoops, or a new height. Okay. Uh, so if that takes the resource, let's try it. Scale an image using the given new width and height. Scales an image and it returns a resource. Okay, so it takes a resource and it returns a resource. And that's what we want because we need, we're gonna load it, which gives us a resource. We're gonna take it to image scale, which takes a resource and then delivers a resource. And then we're gonna do the image output thing, which takes a resource and throws it to a file. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. So, Source GIF, image GIF resized. So this will actually just do our output here. We don't need to capture anything in for a minute, but this is where we're going to do our resize. So image scale. Image scale. Let's see a why didn't that autocomplete? Image scale. We're going to take our, our initial resource here. And we're going to pass it a width of 20. I just want it, like, I want to slam the thing down just to see if it works. And we're going to pass that into source gif resized. And then we're going to take source gif resized, and that's what we're going to throw out. So what should happen is in this resize cache, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this just so I don't have to mess with it. But right now that image is 251 by 241. We're gonna get rid of it for now because I don't I'll worry about overwriting. I want a clean slate. And we're gonna go back to Chrome and we're gonna refresh and we're gonna see what work got done. Resize cache, there's a file. Itty bitty file, 20 by 19. Okay, so that's doing our resize for us. So now all we need to do is take a pit stop. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. And then we can uh, we keep going. I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape with getting this first iteration wrapped up. Um, but I'll be right back. We can make pit stop. Enjoy the tunes.
Oh good, the mic's on. I really wasn't sure the mic wasn't on the whole time. Um, let's bring the music back down a little bit. I think that's about right. I'm out of Sprite, and that's a disappointment. I should have gone to the grocery store today. Um, it's the water, but I was like, something bubbly would have been nice. Uh, let's get this down. Water's better for me anyways. All right, cool. So, meanwhile, uh, so our resize is working. The... And so now what I can do, I'm not gonna worry about caching to start with. Um, I just wanna get the, I just wanna get everything resized and thumbnailed down um, and start and start with that. So So I'm doing this source GIF and then uh, so that's giving me that's giving me a list of files, right? So our sorry, this glob looks in the source folder and then finds me all the gifts. That gives me an array. Maybe a little much right now. Uh, I say uh a lot. I should work on not doing that. I don't know if it's better to not have filler words or to have filler words. Also, I realize how much I think and not talk when I stop doing the filler words. That's crazy. So we're going to be here. And this is actually the loop where we're going to... So we're, we've got all of our GIF files from our source. This is where we're going to do all of our work. Um, so the stuff we were doing up here was just test run, basically. The first thing I can do is I'm just going to move this stuff in. And again, I'm doing the a kind of a, a shameless green here, even though there's not really tests on this, um, but just kind of a Sandy Metz style shameless green where I'm just throwing code to get something going. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to make, I'm going to look at the source file. Oh, actually, I can just do that. Because the source file has the, the directory path in it. So that's the source file. So I'm still loading the source file every time when I, when I go through this loop. And let's resize it to 100, just something slightly more. But like, we know that the resize is working. So now I can do it to 100, so I can kind of start getting into the mix of where we're going to try and find stuff. Um, it's probably a little bigger than that, but that gets started. But so I'm, I'm looping through the files and I'm actually gonna go through in the same way that we're that I'm properly calling these thumbnails, I'm gonna properly load them to get ready to resize them. But right now I'm just gonna resize them all to the same thing, which is the salute Luke. So it's gonna look at this one and resize it to salute Luke, this one to salute Luke, and this one to salute Luke. The next phase will be to actually parse this value and, and add the right name over here. Um, but right now I just want to, I just want to get this code in the mix and make sure this still works and doesn't, nothing explodes. So, and actually what I can do is, um, is just make this test.gif just so it's, it's separate from everything else that I'm doing. So if I refresh this, here's test gif. And again, it doesn't animate. We're not worried about that. Um, but uh, and we're, because we're going alphabetical, it happened to be Salute Luke. That was the other reason I wanted his test GIF. I wanted it completely not associated with the names. So now what we need to do is figure out how to turn this, you know, source underscore whatever the name is dot GIF into resize cache. And so what I want to do for that is just do a um, a find and replace, basically. Uh, and in PHP, I don't know how to do that. Probably, I mean, regular expressions are how you generally do this, or it can just be a straight solid match, 
Like I don't have to do anything too crazy because I know I exactly want to, every time I want to re replace this string with these six letters, with this string, with these however many letters, right? So source with three size cache. We don't need to do any magic about like, oh, it's kind of like this or it's kind of like that or whatever. It's just like exactly this to exactly that. So um, PHP, find, replace. String replace, sounds great. String replace, replaces all occurrence of a search string with the replacement string. Search, replace, subject. Uh, I still, like I'm not good at reading, like I guess, what is mixed? Mix indicates that a parameter may accept multiple, but not necessarily all types. Okay, so it could be a, like, I guess it could be an integer, or it could be a string. Um, and these are just named, so search, replace, subject for a number. So let's look at an example. I think I can figure this out, but oh, what is all of these with the, those, friends? or percentages, provides body, provides text black. Oh, is that a regular expression? What, that's maybe a regular expression? I don't know. Now body, I don't understand this first one. That is not what I would have used for the first one. Unless I'm missing something. And arrays replacing. Uh, I'm just going to try this the way that I think it makes sense. So this is going to be our output. So the, the other thing I can do is this. Um, so again, this is this is kind of the the shameless green version of this. I'm just gonna try and, and, I'm not gonna try and do any logic yet. I just wanna put a variable in that place and test that this works, right? Um, it almost certainly, ooh. <laughs> it almost certainly will try that. See, I just saved myself a little bit of headache there. Just these small incremental steps. Um, so now I can mess around here and know that like this part of it's working. Super simple, like you expect it to work, but like every now and then something there catches you. And it's just that step by step by step, kind of, you know, change one thing at a time, change one variable at a time. So now we're gonna go back and grab that string replace string, string replace string, this. And so hopefully, if we look, for this and we replace it oh, with the thing that I just cut. So we're looking for source. We're going to replace it with resized cache and we're going to do that with this variable here, which is the, the path, the original path if file. And so if I was if I was actually doing like tests on this, I would actually have set up a test to say, hey, does this return the proper thing for me? Now we're just gonna look at it. It's a little weird. I don't know how to do tests really in PHP. We should look at that at some point. But so let's see what happens. Resize, go, look at our directory. We got it. There are files and it did all of them. Um, and I actually went really fast too. Uh, I don't want to do the full directory right now. Um, so now the thing that we'll do, uh, okay. So here's the thing that I actually want to test and just to see, and the easiest thing to do it is just to test it and see what happens. So resize cache right now, these files, this file is hundred by 96. So I want to see if this process overwrites automatically. So I'm just going to make it 400. Run it. Oh, I want, that goes fast. And now it's 400. Okay, so it does overwrite. So that's cool. Um, 
So those are 400, let's make them 300. And then the other thing that we're gonna do is here where we're making the call out to the GIF itself, instead of calling to the, to the, um, to the original path name, I'm gonna call out to this resize path name, which is output file path name, which isn't the best. Let's call that resized. And again, I'm kind of, so I just saw an opportunity to use a better name. I'm using a better name. I didn't have a great one to start with, but I needed to have something. So now I got a better one, change it. And now if we call the resize path, what should happen is these images should shrink down to 400 pixels. Actually, some of them might get bigger, um, but we'll see what happens. Ready? There we go. So there's our 400 pixel wide calls. Um, Again, the images aren't moving, but I'm not worried about that right now. This the, the first step is to get the to get the, the thing up and running. Um, and so I should actually be able to click on one of these, right? And that should still work. And there it is, send it. And it's still moving, and it's the big one. We're in pretty good shape, folks. Uh, so I could I could be I could be done with this right now, actually. This is the first iteration of this. Um, the only thing that I want to do now is just polish up a little bit of the uh... I don't understand why it's going. Oh, because I got a break right there. So let's do this at 250. So there's a way, hmm, how would I do? Now I'm trying to see if I want to play with the, so that's, I mean, that's it. That's the, in here, let's, let's throw the whole thing in there just to see how it goes. So I'm, I'm not, I, I could mess with the caching. I'll, I'll do that at some other point. Um, Cause I'm about done with this right now. I'm about done with this part of it. Um, because I've got this, I mean, this is the first iteration. Like, caching is a more advanced thing. It doesn't need to cache to start with. Uh, where am I going? I am going to here. Whoops, you can't see that. Uh, here, here, here. Select all, move in. So let's see how long it takes to build all the thumbnails. And it's going to build them every single time I load this page. So if this gets real slow, maybe I will. Um, uh, do the caching stuff. I'm going to do the caching stuff eventually anyways, probably. Maybe, I don't know. It's like if it's if it's super fast and I don't need need to do it, maybe I won't. Um let's uh let's give it a shot. Ready? So, I think we're in get yeah, in Chrome whatever. Do it. I'm definitely going to do the caching. Cuz now it's having to go through all 300 or whatever of them. Definitely doing the caching because otherwise it would it would take that every single time I was doing the um... oh but that that was it that's how long it took to to burn all of them out um, and you can see they all they're all at the same width now uh, so why did that one get up there all of a sudden yeah who knows not so much um, I make these a little, so, and watch this. So now what I want to do is I want to make them a little smaller, but it's going to take the same, and I'll go to a different browser, but it's going to take a similar amount of time to turn through them and get them all moved down. Not bad. No, oh, stair step, I like that. Um, oh, this is so cool. I'm excited about this. This is like, now I'm seeing the thing and it's like, it's awesome. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hey, I know him. Um, it's funny, I thought something was busted here, but the, the GIF that it just pulled the thing from is just white there, uh, or basically white. Uh, this is cool. Uh, 
Yeah, oh, you can do some fun stuff with this. Uh, cause like right now I don't have, so the, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna make my own gif, gifly, basically, is what this is. Uh, and it's also cool that they actually, it's actually cool that they aren't, uh, moving. Because it's way less of a resource hog on the machine. This is super cool. All right, which uh, which one of these is gonna be our test? Because we got it. Oh, I know. Oh, see, I can't search. Ah, oh, see, that's the trick. Because I can't search on it right now. But you know what? <sighs> I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. I think that's a good one to end on. Ah, uh, cool. That's super cool. I am super happy with this. Whoops. I don't know why I just went blank. Um, I'm just gonna keep messing with it. Look how fast that is. Ugh, when it's fast, it is on fire fast. And even when it's slow, it's like, ooh, why did it? It just refreshed again. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I wonder if it was still coming back and loading after I clicked the first one. I don't know. I'll have to play with that. Well, let's, let's watch. Um, all right, sloth. Sloth. Ah, yeah, it's still loading. Oh, right, 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 because right, it's rebuilding all of them. So it sent over a Git re uh, a request to something that hasn't sent anything back yet. The thing it sends back is a header that says go back to the original page. That's that's why we want to have the caching, too. Uh, well, we want to have the caching in general. Because if the caching was there, it would have, it would have been back like that. Um, it's kind of fun that the rose stair stepped down. I'm torn between keeping going and not keeping going. This is three hours and 15 minutes. I think I want to play with this just a little bit more. But I don't really. Yeah, I, I don't. So, because what I was going to do is like, ah, I could just mess around with the CSS a little bit, but like that's going to be its own thing. Um, no, I got to click into, but this this is solid for now. Um, so, uh, Twitch ideas. Put EXIF. Metadata and GIFs for searching and tags. Because where I'm headed with that is uh, I could make my own little search engine kind of thing, or my own GIF search. And it would be super simple because I wouldn't actually have to do a search engine. All I'd have to do is put the file names under each one of these to start with, because like, I may know that this is like called dog or something, but with the EXIF information in there or the metadata information in there, I could just also just output that. Oh, so you could actually make, then you could make tag things and I could click on a tag or I could get to a tag. I could list all my tags. I could click to tags. I could get to, phew. I'm making Giffly is what it is. Um, the, or Giphy Cat. I also, and by the way, props to Giphy Cat for making GIF browser, GIF brewery, um, the thing that I make GIFs with. Uh, yeah, and there's some other. So there's other other cosmetic stuff I could do. Like, so if something is this is has a tall enough height, you could push it down. Um, you could basically just put stuff in, in bounding boxes. So either the width or the height, whichever one hits first, mush the other one down. Um, Yeah, this is fun. This is cool. I am happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Uh, that's super cool. I like it. I really like it. Um, I think that's going to do it for the stream for now. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Um, and you know what? I see you.
Yeah. Sorry, that was a different one. Ah, would have been so cool. Cool. Uh, and again, welcome. I am uh, I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. Uh, thanks, folks. Hope you have a good one. Uh, be kind, and we'll see you next time. Later.